The word permutation simply implies the number of arrangements possible. Suppose a school club containing 14 members is going to choose a president, vice president, and secretary. How many groups of three could be formed? We can use the fundamental counting rule and multiply the possibilities for each selection. There's 14 that could be president, and then 13 for VP and 12 for secretary. This gives a total of 2,184 arrangements of three people selected from the 14 possible. The exclamation mark in math represents the factorial function. 14 factorial multiplies all integers from 14 back to 1. The factorial function is under math and probability on the calculator. Check this out. We know that 14 times 13 times 12 is the correct result. When we select without replacement, the numbers decrease like this, which is the beginning of 14 factorial. And if we divided 14 factorial by 11 factorial, then my golly, we get the 14 times 13 times 12. And this is basically the permutation formula that can only be used of selecting things without replacement and the order being important. N is the number of items to choose from, R is the number of items selected, and the formula is read permutation of N choose R things. Look what happens when N is 14 and R is 3. We get 14 factorial divided by 11 factorial, so there we go. Again, 14 times 13 times 12. That's all there is to the permutation formula. It's just a sneaky way to save time by using the factorial function. Watch how we can use the permutation function on the calculator to determine the number of permutations possible in choosing a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer from among 40 people. We type 40 in first to give the calculator the value of n, then we go to the math button over to the probability menu, and then choose option 2, and we'll type in 4. So 4 things selected in order from 40 available gives us 2,193,360 permutations of 4 people selected from 40.